Hey guys, in today's video, what we are going to do is to add a form validation into the stepper form itself. So as you can see there, if I go next, 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 it's a stepper form itself. It is kind of going next without validating the details out right there, which we kind of really don't want. So what we are going to do is to convert this form into this form itself. So this is a really uh, built up one. So as you can see, if I really try to go next, it clearly gives out this error highlight. So if I really type out CS, let's see, uh, let's see, California, California, USA. And then if I really type out like CSE, and then if, what if I really want to type out, let's say 2018, and then it would really go next. So if I really go on and type out, let's say EEE, -E -E, it will give me a weird error. So the weird error is just, it will say that please enter number. And we are also gonna do some bunch of crazy validation itself. So uh, we only want your number as well. So we will also implement that as well in this form itself. So let's try to go up right here. It's 2018, it's, there is a just, now if we go up right here, it will give and clearly give an error. Let's type out my name, Rahul, and let's type out, let's say, right here, here. Let's see if I just kind of go here, give up mail, and let's say I give a random arbitrary number. And then here it's like J Do, sorry, I think J Do at the rate gmail.com. Okay. So as you can see here, if I really just kind of go back here, and if I just type out anything as anything right here, it will give me an error because we are using a kind of, we are using a regex pattern. Uh, if you don't know about regex, just go up right here. You will really get to know what the regex is and how beneficial it is for your project. So if I go up and really type out what is the, uh, let's say jdo.com, it will clearly, the error will just go back as well. So if I really go and type out Bangladesh, it will just clear up the, get this flag and just type out here. I will, for for example, I will just go whatever I want. I will just create anything random for arbitrary number. And if I want to go next, it will give me an alert that please select your profile pic here. Now what will really happen is if I really try to choose an image I've already for uh, just tried. Let me inspect it first. So if you can see, I have only set up the parameter as except as only image itself. So if I really type out, if I just kind of blur this and just kind of show you how it really works. So if now what we are really going to do is just to select anything up right here and just we just open up this one here and now what we are going to do is if we just try to go next it will give only error that only images with png jpeg gif and bmp are allowed so we are going to set up a really bunch of cool validation itself itself there will be a lot of ifs and else condition out right there so this video could really get long uh, fortunately if the youtube's new timestamp feature really work well then you will really get to see all the time stamp in on your screen as well so before going on to really just kind of jumping into the vs code i would really like to show you like uh, from where i have made this project out there so i have actually made this project by inspiring by traversy media's project of traversy media's video of multi-step form itself so if you can just go up right here there are this is the one the registration js is my parent component and these are all the really uh, child component as well. So before really jumping on typing out the code, I don't want to confuse you. So I've made a diagram here. So let's kind of browse this. So as you can see, this is the really parent component up right here, the registration JS, and this is a stepper. And these are all the stepper components up right there. So for our purpose, we are going to only focus on these four because this is of no use. For oh, let me show you what the review JS is. Uh, just one, two, three, four, and five. This is the review JS component. We are not really interested in this one. Sorry. Oh uh, yeah. 
we are only interested in these four components as well so in the college js as well so we want to search colleges the type is string the branch is also string year we want as number so let's check it out first again let me refresh this so as you can see this is a college this is a type there are three uh, elements in this component that we want to fill up so uh, and i want to really apologize because the styling is not really properly aligned because this project is still in the development phase and i just want to kind of share my experience that what i have really made up right now so and yeah so in turning up into the second component that is user dot the user detail dot js we want the first name last name gender and date of birth so as you can really see up right here so just what i really exactly talked about in diagram as well so there is a first name there is string last name gender what we need to select whether it's male or female and then there is a type of date which is of date of birth and then try going on to the second sorry third uh, component that is our credential component credential.js there is email this phone email password so let's try to see this email phone username and password so and at last we will just kind of add a file input validation we will link we will leave this as option as well if you really want this diagram i will just attach the link in the description so you can check it out so now let's get back into our vs code and let's start coding itself so if i really go up to here uh, this is our main uh, first component of uh, first so this is our first child component this is our parent component as we have talked about so let's go up right here so uh, what I will really suggest is just exactly so I will really assign this ID as college input okay and then what we will do uh, we will just go up right here we will really assign the uh, sorry id as uh, branch just let me close this up first let me just zoom it okay and now let me just type out id id as y sorry in bracket y o p that means sorry y o a year of admission and then what we need to do is just go up right here now there are really various ways to validate the form itself so you can use as so you can use the state dot value property as well you can use uh, various other methods but in this uh, video what i'm going to use is document dot get element by id uh, and we are going to use a typical if and else statement out right there you can also use switch cases but i really find out that if and else is a bit easy for in this case so what i will do is just const college input that is camel casing is equal to document dot get element by id and what we will do is just put this value where is that uh, yeah we'll just copy this we uh, will paste it up right here okay and then what we will just do is const branch equals document dot get element by id and what we will do is just branch and just type of last one is what we need to do year const year of admission is equal to document dot get element sorry get element by id and then like say by ob so now what we really need is just basic if final statement let's say for example if we want a uh, let's say college input dot value if it is triple equals as null we are using triple equal because it's uh, best practice to use strict operators uh, what we need is as college input dot style dot box shadow as let's say zero pixels 
so let's say again 0 pixels and then 15 pixels as uh, spread out blur I, I don't exactly remember that uh, and let's say 0 pixels and then red now I wrap this cut everything control X let's say if I go up right here and else oh sorry I should go curly braces and paste it up right here so as you can go let's uh, close all these tabs and what I'll really try to do oh I done a mistake and that mistake was I should wrap this in single quotes okay let's try to re-render this so if I go out if I really just press continue up right here it doesn't move up right here so let's say if I just try to CDD anything random bits and then only it moves forward so we want to do design as per its let's say what again if we just kind of uh, copy this control C control V and again control V and then what we need is as control D control huh. then we really need it as a branch branch and then what we need it as control D control D Y O sorry okay branch and here let's say we need it as Y O A what happened mm, oh by mistake I really just <laughs> uh, it really just got me confused i actually wrote here yob instead of yoa or sometimes the acronym sucks because we don't remember that and i really it's my mistake so let's type out let's say california and let's say let's see us and then 2017 but if it really works well and we, we can go up right here but let's say if we just kind of refresh this again and if we type out what we really want is when we really want we want to get this as reset again so for that one in this render component what we need to define it as a const as call call reset error we give it as an arrow function and then just copy everything up right here just give it exactly over here so and yeah what we need to do is we need to copy this one as well so let's go up right here and paste it up right here so we need to format up right here so let me just just choose this as new typescript react and let's just format this one okay now oh, it's looking cool so what we really need is exactly opposite of that so let's say it's not equal okay it's really not equal So what we really want is if it is not equal then reset this let's get select this one and make it as blank so if I redo it right now let's just reload it again so if I redo it right now if it really does so let's see what is happening oh I actually didn't really pass this call reset error into any just copy this go up right here what we define is as on change equals in bracket let's define it as call error okay so if i go up right here let's say, let's say cs let's say like caltech or let's say uni 
and night now let's say cs and let's say it's 2018 okay but uh, in our case what we need is of especially for this yoa we need to check whether it's a number or not because if we right now go up right here the type is really specified as number if i go up right here and type out any alphabet number so as you obviously you can't see it but i'm really doing it right now so except for the e it doesn't really going on anything so it's not accepting any alphabet except for the e and we'll fix that but let's say uh, what if anyone really tries to just uh, change this source code and just try to manipulate it let's see if now what i will do is f a g h anything right here so we need to prevent it we need to prevent this behavior up right here so what we need to do is we would check if the whether the entered value is number or not so let's say if sorry we would you do it else else if because this parameter is really attached to this one so let's say if is nan we will check this property like y o e dot value what we will do is just we will define it as let's say we want we want here we want to go up right here uh, let's say the error is this one we will define a class we will define it as an id of y o a error yeah we want it as y o a error and where we were okay so let's say we would copy this we paste up right here we just tell it as var e r r o r and here what we would do is e sorry what was that exactly how i would small case error so let's say y o a error dot style dot display is equal to block because if you really go up right here if you really see the current yoa error is in the red color that means an error it's a font family of roboto the display is by default set to none text align is up to right as well so if then any error occurred we need to make it visible so that that's why we are selecting as block element and obviously we need to specify an error that's why yoa dot inner ht element inner html equals as please enter the only valid numbers okay so let's try let's give it as capital yeah so if i really try try to go up right here and try it again let's see as usual so yeah uh, let's see 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 let's see cs and if i go to my source code let's uh, let's try to make it as text okay let's try it as 2g 1c whether we have known uh, cs and then let's type out like falcon falcon right it will give that in error instantly up right there so what we need to type it out that's 2018 or oh, sorry 2020 current year then only it proceeds out right there now let's suppose if you really want as uh, any some sort of a limit that particular valid the particular entered value of that uh, year should be in particular range as well so you can also really do that but let me just kind of reset back to the number so what you can really do is uh, just go up right here you can defy l you can set it as else if y else if in bracket y o e dot value is under 2015 let's say then what we will really do is 
we will just copy this okay we'll paste it up right here and we will just give it as we'll give it as really like sorry you are too old and then what we will really do is just copy this again we'll paste it up right here what we will do is if if it's greater than new date in bracket dot get full year and again in bracket then what we really do do is enter enter current year let's try to test it out so if i go let's say caltech let's say cs and then let's again 2011 if you did say you are get you are too old let's say if i go up to 2021 say enter entered current year and then what we'll do is 2020 okay and then it really works but you might have noticed that if when i was really doing up right there, that error doesn't really uh, that error wasn't really going anywhere else so what we need to do is in just call reset error we need to specify again in one parameter that just copy this one we need to do exactly opposite of this paste it up right here instead cut this else if cut this else is uh, I mean sorry is greater than or equal to and this is greater is less than or equal to sorry less than or equal to and then what we'll do is display as none we'll make it as display as none and we will really just cut this also we will really cut this okay why where is not defined because I haven't picked it up right here control C control V up right here let's try to refresh so if I type out let's say uh, let's say Pune let's say again CS let's say again 2011 and then try out right here let's see if I go back again as you can see it automatically goes back so if I type out 2000 15 then it goes up right there as per uh, specified condition now let's try to go up the user detail.js the process is exactly same so what we need to do is define it as id as first name id as first name uh, here last name id as last name and then we will define it as gender id as gender okay and then what we need to define it as id as let's say uh, birth or well, let's say uh, yeah birth i was going to write dob uh, yob but it will really confuse me again so let's go up right traditionally const okay let me just kind of get the generated boilerplate document so what i'll really do is um, the first name id huh? const first first name equals document dot get element by id in bracket first name okay what we'll do is just copy this We will just go down there, paste it up right there four times. Yeah, and we will change this. Control D. Let's say yeah. Last name. Let's say gender. We want here. Change it. 
gender and then what we want it as a birth okay and then our regular if and else condition what i'm going to do is just kind of go up from here and just try to try to just kind of select upright from here everything control c and just paste it exactly here okay so what i really do is right now uh, first name first name and then what i need to do is last name okay and then what i need to do is uh, gender okay and then we really don't need any of this just uh, close this one and then just copy one i mean this paste it exactly up right here so what we need is here we need is our gender gender and then let's see it was what birth right BIR birth and then here it also has birth okay here we also need last name is everything right first name first name last name last name gender gender birth birth okay yeah so everything all right now let's so now what we really need to do is just go right here what we so let's try and test it out first so okay just first go up right here let's make this step as two then initially what will happen is it will get loaded to the second one so here you can see oh it's my mistake that i have not named it correctly uh, just be cautious while making about your project as well so let's name it again Control as L, Control as L. So if I really go up right here, try out, it will give everything as error. Oh, I just left this one. We will let me just do it first. Uh, birth, right? Birth, 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 where is birth? Option. What I really did a silly mistake right here. Let's say birth again. Okay. I don't know why I'm really mis making mistake again and again. So let's now, okay so if i put up right here let's say let's say gender male so what i what is the possibility of going wrong here so what i can really see is anyone can really tamper up this in the source code as what i really previously mentioned for the uh, year of admission so let's say what we would really do is uh so if else we'll write as else if So else if is like, like gender dot value dot value is not equal to male or or gender dot value is not equal sorry uh, not equal to female then alert <coughs> we will alert as enter only provided valid email option okay oh i just need to forgot to put the semicolon up right here this is a really good exercise for me as well okay so if i really go up right here uh, let's say i really add another option as control c and control uh, v I really name it as something else need the else and we name it as else okay if i go up right here let's say here if I type of else 
we would, we would need this okay and then it will really give it as Twitter only email valid option what was that here oh sorry yeah i just kind of enter only valid gender uh, option maybe it may sound really gross okay oh let's see let me refresh this okay let's try it again see if i go it as else you say please only enter only provided valid gender option okay so you got my point whether it's really working in proper fashionable manner and now the real interesting part really starts from here pay attention to everything right here so before going on there i just want to kind of really uh, set up this call error reset but instead of really doing that i will just mention in the in this uh, code and this will that will be really uploaded in the onto the github repo so you can check that out uh, as because this video can really get so long and i don't want to do that so let's say this is as email and then what we need it as what we need it as just like id equals oh sorry i'm doing it wrong so I, it has already defined as id username let's type it here id as password and if you really go up right here you can see there is a component up right here so if i really just go up right here uh, there is a component of image called id we don't need this one it's of really no use to us what we are really interested in this one because this is select we need this and uh, let me close this and we need this at uh, we need this id as tell so what we need what we need to do is just go up right here const email as document dot get element by id in bracket uh, email I'm sorry email and then what we need it as const const what we what was that uh, country okay sorry here yeah. const simulant try equals document dot get element default not document dot get element by id and then we we'll define it as country okay and then again what we need it as const uh, tell equals document dot get element by id and what we need is define as tell and then what we need it uh, what we need as const username as is it password or is it username yeah is it user it's username right uh, it's document dot get element by id and then what we need as oh sorry need as username what we learn right now is needed as const password equal as document oh sorry don't get element by id and then what we need as a password okay let me make sure it's correct or not yeah password is correct And now our own traditional if else statement let's say if if email dot value new triple equals as null then what we need as so email dot 
style dot box shadow shadow is equals to zero pixels zero pixels 15 as spread or blur and let's say it as zero pixels and then name it as red and then what we do is else we'll do it up right here so just copy exactly same thing the key like again key uh, four time one two three and four okay let's say C O U N D country and then let's say it has uh, tell let's say it has let's say it has username and then finally what we need is as a password okay what happened my password is not really visible up right there uh, okay yeah i understood that's what i made a mistake so as you can see it gives me an error let's see let's type it out yeah let's say choose anything let's say any number let's say any trial out okay and then what we need is as a password then it really works so now what will so now what the real thing starts is we will need a regex so for that we just search uh, duck duck oh. uh, i'm just habitual for duck duck guys sorry uh, what i'll just type out is email regex okay and what we'll do is take this thing copy everything up right here sorry just go up right here const email regex equals backslash now you don't need to understand uh, what uh, what is what this is really mentioned you can check up the video that is mentioned in the i button where i have mentioned uh, what this regex actually means and how it is really beneficial for you uh, to really display this error what we need is really just go up right here so as you can really see there is already a mentioned as there all there is already mentioned email uh, error so what we need to do is just go exactly uh, below and specify as const email error as document dot get element by id and then what you need is as email error if i'm not wrong let's check this one first okay uh, then what we need is like uh, we will just check this regex for the value that has been entered so let's say else if so what we will do if not of email regex dot test we will test for uh, email dot value and then what we will do is so what we will really specify if this value is not true according to this uh, regex then what we will do is email error dot style dot display equals to block okay 
so let's go back right here in our project let's type out our HUL or let's type it out so you can see they enter the valid email address let's say jdo at the read gmail dot com so yeah it works for this one let's say here g and dd and let's say anything password crazy so yeah it really works so now what we need is as a username let's say we need is as a username regex this is the one thing that we can really trust let's say that let's say that we let's say that we copied this and now we will just go up right here uh, const username regex equals so you can see this is the parameter like uh, it will accept anything from uh, zero like it should have uh, alphabet it should have numeric it should mean it would have uh, underscore or this uh, dash and it should be minimum in the range of 3 to 15 characters but for this we won't do anything up right here so i'll just comment it up because we don't need it for our purpose but for password if you really ask me let's say if i go back if you really just type out uh, let's say password regex just go where, where was that yeah so if you really want a uh, regex for a strong password copy this let's say uh you just type out go const strong password equals really this one right okay and what you really need is right now so if we go down right here so let's say what i'll really do is if we go down here i'll specify this class this as as id as password error okay what we will do is just we will type enter strong password now you can really add you know a bunch of crazy styles uh, CSS to make it much more fascinating just what really uh, this popular site like Google Facebook or uh, wherever on you really see it so now what we can do is like let's say else if uh, let's say what we will do is we will test this value for strong password dot test password dot value and let's say if it's not if it's not true then what we will do is document dot get element by id uh, so let's say this as let's say this what was that exactly what was that what was that password error okay password error so we finally go up this year uh, let's say if I type out here password error and then just exactly paste copy paste it here style dot display equals 
block let's type uh, yeah let's go up right here enter our value id jd at the rate i dot io let's say any la, any number this is something else and we will do it as really so enter strong password it really like so i type uh, d e m everything is small and then capital a then uh, 21 at the rate okay let's see if it works yeah it works so last at the moment we will just add this uh, input validation for image as well so what we'll do is just we'll go to the profile detail uh, we'll go up right exactly above here mm, let's say const what was the email id const uh, input file inp file inp camel casing file equals document dot get element by id is equals to inp file okay and we exactly need this so what what we need is like if sorry if let's say inp file dot value equals as let's say triple equal as null then what we needed what we need it as inp we will alert alert uh, add profile pick else we'll just control x okay so let me go up right here we name this step as 4 okay so if i go up right here it would say add profile pick right so if i really add this here let's say if i add any photo uh, say if, uh, let's see if i add this one and just try out to go it really works but but let's say if anyone does still tamper the source code uh, html source code what would really happen so we will just comment out this parameter okay and then what will really happen is let's say if i go to downloads and let's say if i just take it anything it will really still go ahead and we don't want that we naturally want uh, it should only select the images as well so what we'll do is we'll just go up, up right here we will type out image regex just click it here copy exact thing okay so we will really now re we will just go up right here uh, we will just type out go let's say image const img regex is equal to document dot get element by id and then oh sorry, oh sorry i was wrong actually const img regex equals this one i think we should add one more character as well right uh, let's say standing as uh, jpeg okay and then we will just test as if uh, what we'll do is image uh, image
mich regex dot test in bracket imp imp file dot value if it's not true if it's not true then let's say we will alert as select only select images of valid format like let's say if we will do it only valid format okay now let's go up right here let's refresh this oh so i just want to apologize because uh, uh, what i really saw that this e uh, email reg this image regex is not actually correct the correct uh, regex what it actually is is this one so now if you really just try to do up right here let's say uh, by purposefully uh, we will do this wrong we'll open this it will select only select of valid email address so it really adds an extra layer of you know enhancement or some security you can say so this was it guys i really wanted to show like how can you set uh, email validation itself and so don't worry so uh, for majority of the component i don't have really uh, set up the uh, error reset as well so but if you really check up the github repo uh, which is the link in the description uh, you will really find out that that it has, it has been really mentioned down there since this video is has got too long i don't want to stretch it more unnecessarily uh, i hope you really understand with me uh, so if you have any question comments queries some sort, some sort of suggestion just leave it out in the comment box below and if you have any some sort of topics for uh, future videos do let me know about it and so till then stay connected stay subscribed and i see you next time